Hi folks, Wooden Boat Dan here from Hooked on Wooden Boats. I thought I would give you uh, some news about a new project I'm working on. I did finish my peeler skiff in May of this year, and I started that boat in December of 2022 from a kit. Came out really nice, it was a beautiful boat, a lot of fun. I put a 20 horse Honda on it, which failed on me this year, the forward gear, and I'm waiting on a part uh, that'll, the warranty will pay for it. But other than that, it's been a really, really fun boat. You can check out some videos on that if you want to. And also check out my podcast, Hooked on Wooden Boats, on the major platforms. Anyway, I wanted a project for this winter. I didn't have a lot of money to spend on another kit or something. And I was on the Port Townsend Pocket Yachter site one day. And I saw a free boat that was partially built. So I inquired about it, and about three weeks ago, I went and picked the boat up in Port Townsend, actually Port Hadlock, Washington. The boat is a 12 foot, no, it's 11 feet, nine inches. It's an acorn skiff designed by the late Ian Uhtred. You can probably see it behind me. I'll show you some more pictures here. And uh, the boat is about half uh, planked. And so there's plenty of work left to do. And I would estimate the boat is 30% done. It came with uh, the plans, the original plans, and also uh, the construction instructions and drawings. And it came with a new sail that's never been used on the boat and a little bit of lumber. But I'll end up buying some epoxy and some plywood for the lap strakes and so on. It's a glued lap strake boat. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. It's a, uh, the Acorn is a similar design to the Whitehall Skiff of New York from the early 1900s. It's a very graceful, uh, very uh, efficient rowboat, I'm told. A little bit on the tender side. You can also sail it, but it's also a little bit tender sailing. So that'll be interesting. But my plan is to finish the boat and rig it up for sailing and have some fun with it. And I don't know if I'll keep it or not, but because uh, I've already got a boat, I don't have room for a lot of boats here, but uh, it'll give me a winter project and so on. So I'm going to have some fun with it. So let me show you a few things here. So here I've got the plans for the boat, which are six or seven pages, all these nice drawings that Ian Uhtred did. And uh, these were purchased from Wooden Boat Magazine, and they came in this mailing tube that the uh, donor, don yeah, the donor gave me. I don't know if you can see it on here, but these were mailed to the builder in 1995. So this boat's been, uh, was started somewhere around that date and never finished. And here's my uh, construction instructions for the boat. Lots of details, and I've also got a set of plans for oars, which I'm actually thinking uh, that I might be able to use these plans to modify these inexpensive oars that I bought here at a garage sale. That, that's yet to be seen, but these are kind of ugly, but if I could shape them according to those other plans, I think that would be pretty cool. So let me show you the boat now. So this boat is, like I say, 11 feet, nine inches long. I haven't done any work on the boat other than clean it up a little bit. You can see there's already four planks on the boat and there's three more planks that go down here. Uh, the boat was pretty, pretty dusty and a little grimy. So I actually sanded it super light sanding to kind of clean it up. You can see the builder had used copper nails here, uh, which is fine. This is the bottom of the boat. This is gonna be glassed and covered over, so that doesn't matter. And then he used a stitch and glue to pull the planks together here, which left holes. So I'll end up filling those, but I'm not gonna stitch and glue the rest of it. I'm gonna use a clamping system to uh, clamp the planks together there. So you can see it's a pretty, uh, pretty shapely boat here. There's an outside stem that has to be installed, uh, but it's got a really graceful shape to it. And if you go back here, all these, uh, the boat was already on all these stations and, and uh, molds, 
already. And then if you go back here, you can see the wine glass transom, which is uh, made out of mahogany. And then I built this dolly down below here so I could roll this thing around. I like to be able to move, move stuff in my shop since it's just a two car garage and I put some uh, cross boards down there so I can store some lumber down there for the project. And yeah, so um, you can see the, the molds are marked with where the plank lines are along here. And so I'm just gonna kind of verify and double check everything there uh, before I start the actual build. And I'll have to buy some plywood and epoxy also. And uh, then I've been uh, YouTubing the spiling process. There's a couple methods for that. One, you use a compass and a spiling batten. And another one, you use a spiling batten and a hot glue gun and you put some plank spacers on the molds and then you draw a fair line from that. So um, anyway, so that's what I'll be working on next there. Like I say, I've got to get some plywood first because I don't have enough in my shop to finish the project. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about this. I think it'll be a fun project. Um, you know, I get it done and go out and sail it and uh, so on. Uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, maybe I'll sell the boat. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know, but it'll give me something to do this winter. And I'm guessing my best estimate of the cost for me to complete this project I was going to say a thousand, but I think that's too low. I'm going to say two thousand. By the time I build spars, a spar, actually just a mast, and I build a dagger board trunk, and I build build a dagger board, and I get some paint and varnish, and some more plywood, and some epoxy, and some hardware for the oars, and a rigging for the sail, and. That doesn't even count a trailer, which I don't know if I'm gonna get a trailer. Not unless I get a really good deal, I don't think. Uh, because this boat's supposed to only weigh 90 pounds complete, so theoretically you could car top it. Although 90 pounds, I mean, that's, if you got a car that's not too high and you got two strong people, that's very doable. But uh, I'm not lifting as much as I used to years ago. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I think that's it for now, folks. Uh, check out my podcast. Look at some of the other videos. And I'm going to, uh, my plan is to continue to make videos about this uh, Whitehall, or actually Acorn Skiff build. And hopefully I'll have this boat done uh, this summer, by next summer, I mean, 2025. All right. Wooden Boat Dan over and out. Keep the bright side up and the barnacled side down. God bless. Take care.